Tammy M. You have 30 seconds to say goodbye and leave the Big Brother house. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Azini Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay guys, 2024 annual grammys award has come and gone and no nigerian acts actually won any award to tell you how huge this is we had over i think four or five five yes five nigerian artists burner boy davido iris star olamide and ashake who were nominated in different categories and none of them got any award. And oh, how can I forget my darling terms? None of them got any award. Yes, guys. So let's talk about, you know, some of the categories or two of the categories that was keenly contested. Um, we have the best world something something performance, which was won by, um, these guys, uh, Ghana, Shuai, Dilapan, and the rest, congratulations to them. And we have the best African music performance, which had four Nigerians, Ashake, Fit, um, Olamide, Burner Boy, Davido, and Ira Star. And of course, the South African beauty herself, Tyler, won this category. Now, am I surprised? Hell no, I'm not. Because I remember when I talked about these guys being nominated, I remember when I put out the video last year, I told you guys that in this category, I'm seeing Tyler winning because of her song, Water. Because not just is that song a global hit i mean like everybody loves water it's a hit and from this category i just knew that she would win this award now this whole you know losing this award affected mostly davido and his fans because davido this is actually the first time that he has been nominated yes guys and i think he was nominated for two different categories and he lost both of them now his fans are not really happy about this they feel like he's been robbed and it's unfair well when it comes to the best African music performance, I don't feel he was robbed. Honestly, I don't feel so. Because I saw Tyler winning this. But for the other one, well, <laughs> I feel he was robbed for the other category. But I am not surprised. It's not the first time this is happening. I remember when Essence was nominated and some, you know, music band um, or whatever took the award. Some, you know, music that we've not even heard of. Like, it was crazy. And listening to the song that even won the award, I was like, ah. ah how kilele like how how did this happen well is the grammys and things like this happen yes guys now just like jay-z said um his wife beyonce has never won the album of the year award but she's been releasing you know hits after hits album you know that are shattering um charts and all of that but she's never won the album of the year he went on to say some of them that were nominated will be robbed some of them might feel robbed and some of them might not even fall into any category like jay-z just felt like you know what this is 2024 it's time for the truth to come to light yes guys but whichever one a very big congratulations to tyler baby girl you deserve this yes guys i mean her first nomination her first win at the age of 22 that is very commendable and something that her team and management should be proud of now that south africa has won this award and nigerians have lost out <laughs> they have decided to take it out on the bafana bafana boys on wednesday <laughs> i do not know who will win that match but i know that our footballers are going to be taking it seriously both the south africans and the nigerians that will be a semi-finals game to look out for yes guys now away from that but still on the grammy so um davido's lawyer put this out he put out a picture of the grammy sitting on the table 
on his Insta story. Now, this was even before the awards was, you know, the winners of the awards was being announced. And a lot of Davido's fans were not finding it funny. They were like, what sort of joke is this? That he has got to be the most careless and useless lawyer to any musician. Like, why would he even think of doing that, raising their hopes up and having it dashed? And some were even speculating, even before the award was announced, that it was because of that that Davido was disqualified. I shall know that nobody was disqualified. But, I mean, I feel like that's a very tacky thing to do. I mean, why would you even post that when you know you've won nothing yet? It just doesn't make any sense. Anyways, Davido's um, 30 BG are currently roasting his lawyer from last night up until this morning. Yes, guys. But anyways, that's that for the Grammys. Congratulations to all the winners. Yes, guys. Away from that, Big Brother South Africa had their eviction last night. And Sammy M was evicted, sadly, from the house. But Baby Girl is still rooting for Z. Now, there's this whole rivalry on social media between Z's fans and Lima's fans. Like, it's crazy. Why? Whichever one, I feel like both ladies are holding their fort. And not just them, I also feel like the likes of Umpumi and Yolanda are ladies to watch out for in the Big Brother South Africa house. Today, they will be having their Head of House Challenge also nomination. So, you better get ready to vote for your face. Yes, guys. Now, away from that, same yesterday, ex Big Brother Niger Houseman Perry had the premiere of his movie, Silent Intruder. Yes, guys. I mean, it had lots and lots of stars in attendance from comedians, musicians, actors, ex Big Brother Niger housemates. They all came out to celebrate with him. I've seen the trailer of that movie, honestly, and it looks like something that is going to be really interesting. It will be in the cinemas, I think today or next, I'm not sure, but um, uh, I mean, like, Perret turned from a therapist that was supposed to be counseling, you know, the wife of this guy because, you know, she came to him for some therapy because their marriage wasn't working. And then from then he just started, you know, having an affair with her and he became obsessed with her to the point he even wanted to harm the husband. Did he get to kill the husband? We do not know. I mean, this is not something we see a lot in Nollywood. We see this kind of story in a lot of Tyler Perry movies. But whichever one, it makes for an interesting watch. Well done, Pere. You actually did great in this. And oh, Venita was also part of the cast, but I'm not sure if she showed up at the premiere. You already know, you know, there's this whole beef going on with Pere and Venita, all because of the Big Brother Niger All Stars house. Whichever one it is, are you going to be watching this movie? Let me know in the comment section. And before I go, guys, tomorrow is going to be a great day yes guys it's not just going to be any other tuesday it's going to be a fantastic tuesday why because the very first episode of my podcast leaving in reality with azini williams will be premiering yes guys on my podcast channel leaving in reality with azini so that's the name of the channel i'll be putting the link in the description box and also pinning it in the comment section. Please, if you have not subscribed to that channel, please go and subscribe, put your notifications on. I mean, just be waiting because we are going to be having a very interesting discussion, you know, with my very first guest. You guys are just going to be proud of your girl because we did something with that and I'm so happy that I'm going to be sharing it with you guys it's going to be an interesting conversation um so 6 p.m nigerian time tuesday our very first episode will be dropping so don't wait for somebody to tell you before you know that you have to go and subscribe to go and watch mm -mm, don't be told watch it live and direct and of course i'll also be watching with you guys so i'll be in the comment section watching with you guys so um make sure you have your data on make sure you have your notification on make sure you subscribe and share my channel i beg this one at my market share it with your family your friends your enemies you know those people that don't like you 
trust me, they will learn one or two things and they will come back and say, we are sorry for everything we have done to you. Yes, guys. On that note, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, Izzy Williams. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day ahead.